Good kitten internet. Meow. Uh, it's been a while since we last recorded. We can a couple of days, maybe? Yeah, about ten days, I think. Mm. Um, I've spent the week at my place, so... I've spent my week working a lot of work. And, yeah. So where we last left off, we finished the first temple and we have powers now. Wars, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? I have been idle here for a long time. We probably dropped it Barrett to demonstrate the underground oh, right. of him. Yeah. Bored. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vasco. Yeah, good job copying Barrett's intro. All right, so we have the quest All That Money Can Buy. Hello, Ask Zach. if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. We have? Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. I'm thinking about the temple that I found. You and me both. The implications are staggering. Obviously, we don't know anything for certain, at least not yet, but there sure seems to be a connection between these temples and the artifacts. Aww. So it would follow that someone, or something, built them. Both the temples and the artifacts. That alone is... It's huge, isn't it? So which one of us wants to say aliens? You said it, not me. I'll concede it's a possibility, but it's only one in a million. As much as we'd like to, we can't jump to conclusions just yet. I mean, it is a huge discovery. That might end up being the understatement of all time. But really, we can't get ahead of ourselves. We just need to focus on our next steps. More research, documenting our findings, and not jumping to conclusions, no matter how enticing that might be. All right. Take care of yourself. A pretty display. It's I know behind, everyone's right? excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible yeah, and be eye. aware of mm -hmm. possible negative effects. It even looks like an eye. Mm -hmm. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Got some organic resources for you? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, right. She's a merchant that will buy stuff. Uh, those scans. Am I gonna die of cancer really fast or something? Before I say anything, I need to clarify that I have no formal medical training. So with that in mind, I think so. I know I said the scans weren't normal, but I would differentiate that from dangerous or concerning. I plan on keeping an eye on you, but you seem to have adapted to the changes. You're feeling okay, right? I mean... Should I let you know if I start growing any extra limbs? I'm not a doctor, but I do have eyes. I think I'd notice. I have no reason to expect anything that drastic will happen. But we are in uncharted waters here, so I guess you'd just be extra handy to have around. Really? Maybe I should get this checked out by a real doctor. None taken, but I think we want to keep this in-house for right now until we're sure of what we're dealing with. Trying to explain this at Reliant Medical would only lead to even more questions, none of which we're ready to answer. For now, just relax. We're all behind you, and we'll take care of you if we need to. And if you wake up in the middle of the night to find me standing over you, taking scans or drawing blood, just take it in stride. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. Probably. <laughs> okay. Stay safe, okay? Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. Oh, powers. Pretty neat, huh? Stretches the mind to the far ends. Not sure neat is the word. Hard stopping might be closer to the mark. Just making light of the situation. Won't put the fault to you there. When you're outside, all known understanding of how things work, best to keep smiling. Anyway, 
We'll be with you as we all figure what this means. Artifacts sure keep being a showboat of surprises. Andreja? Draw the words another time then. So we have a quest to go to another temple, right? Did you... Yes. Yep. Yeah. I guess we're gonna go grab some powers? I think we should. Need something? Okay, who did we have last time with us? Sam. I'll bring Andre this time. I look forward to it. Looks like it's tag you're in, Andreja. Tag indeed, Sam. We will see you later. Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring me on board. Probably, but I don't have very much seating. Um, look at your current crew, just to remind us. So I have Sam, Sarah, and Barrett. Yeah, I would love to bring Vasco, but technically I only have a crew of two, and Sarah just doesn't count. Yeah, her skill also doesn't apply, so... Oh, good to know. Yeah, it doesn't affect your range at all. Oh. Well. Okay. I should really just unassign her from my ship so I don't have to... Listen to her constantly? Yeah. But... She's extra cargo space. Here, lift this, because that makes sense. Here, hold this. Because you, she's not on the same ship you are or anything. Um, okay, it looks like we've already emptied out inventory. Judging by our mass mm -hmm. being relatively low. Unfortunately, it was after we had gotten the mantis suit that on I started a new character. Uh-huh. Because my saves aren't synced to my laptop. And that's when I found out that the um, enchantments well, are satisfying. Mom. The, the enchantments on the uh, mantis suit are randomized, not when you enter the layer of the mantis, but when you open the case for the first time. Mm -hmm. Which explains last time I mentioned that I didn't think those were the same enchantments I got. I was correct. To return to your ship. Also, we've got. Wrong place. Wrong. Oh. Yeah, right. Scanning. Damn it! I spin up the drive! <laughs> We're... Sorry. So, I hear you've been making yourself please, pretty useful on the ship, Cora. Thank I you. have, Dad. Mantis. I want to be What's as good a co-pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a great job, String Bean. I'm proud of you. What do you say? <laughs> get you a new outfit next time we're planet side. It still fits, Dad. And I love it. Now, a new book. I had that same encounter. Yes, I just love all of the... <laughs> it's the mantis. I thought we were dead. But, but uh, I didn't get that. Were terrified. I haven't seen this part. I can't believe it. We were saved by the mantis. Everybody keeps going on about this mantis. <laughs> Who the hell is the mantis? Hi. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. You're just like how I imagined you. <laughs> so is it customary to give the mantis some sort of reward? The mantis never takes a reward. Bless you, sir. Uh, Ma'am. I can't Neither. believe we were rescued by you. Wait, so this is free? You both gotta be pulling my leg here. <laughs> I think it might have been because I destroyed one of the um, spacers before mm. the other two went. Oh crap. Um, I'm perfectly fine with this righteous act as my only reward for this character. Yeah. This has got to be the weirdest day. <laughs> oh man, classic Mantis. Well then, thank you, Mantis. Ship's repaired. We'll be heading out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's like, what the heck is going on? I don't even. So. RNA1. Might as well scan just because. Hey, look, it's helium. Ah, my wrists are not happy with me because we just finished putting together, almost entirely put together at least. Landing a site couch is sufficient. Ship down. From IKEA. And my body's not the greatest on a good day. Never mind putting that much strength into such a tiny area. Why is this popping up now? Because it's kind of relevant. Although, no. If Not you need really. to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. What organic materials? There's fallen and floor right here. Wait, how? So if you jump a little, you can probably see the temple. Um, oh, gravity's fairly high. Or average. Whatever. Normal. Or, you know... What Rough we're, standard. Yeah. What we're evolved to live in. Yes. I mean, yes, the... Anomaly structure. Dove foot pedestal. Oh, that's right. I have a basic jump pack. That's why I'm not jumping high. I don't remember this planet at all, but I do know that the uh, locations of the temples are are randomized, and most of the artifacts too. It's like the first one is always Procyon three. Mm -hmm. But the rest of them, not so much. Mm -hmm. well, perhaps we will do a little bit of scouting afterward. Well, maybe... But this is the first planet in the system, and it's so cold! I guess it's just that diff distant. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look at the system. Deep freeze, 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 deep freeze. Oh, they don't list like orbital period or distance no, from they the star. Don't, which is annoying. And it's a K5, so yeah, it's a colder, it's a small sun. So the right. spectral class, the numbers, the higher the number goes, the smaller the world is. And then the letter, if I remember correctly, is the class of star. Yeah, the color temperature. Yeah. Type K is yellow or orange, isn't it? Uh, orange, I think. Yeah. Isn't yellow yeah. a different one because... Yeah, yellow is G. Yeah, yellow is G because the sun is G. Earth sun, I mean. And Sharna's sun nexus is an A. Mmm, super hot. Yep. That's why the actual normal habitable planet of the system is really freaking far away from the sun. Okay, so this is not the entrance. Interesting. Do the temples look different for each of them. Yeah, they seem to... Have some individuality. That's good. It'd be a shame if they didn't. Or I, I, I don't know. I haven't been to all of them yet, so. Cold here. Too cold to be safe for sure. Might be like eight different temples out of sixteen. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they actually made the one temple for each hour to get. Well, there's not that many of them, so they might have. Yeah, I mean, if you look at your uh, power screen, 
It says seven undiscovered temples. Yeah. But there are more than that. Right. Presumably it's one for every, every dot on that grid. Mm hmm But I'm not sure, and I'm not sure how... Uh... It's an electron orbital. See? For the diagram. I don't have any powers on the left side yet. Hmm. I wonder if the powers are not necessarily in the same order. That would be interesting. Still trying to figure out how a planet with that cold actually has living yeah. anything. Really? I should be able to jump up there. Why is it not letting me? You, you can't jump if you're sliding. Well, I knew that. It was... Eight wise I was concerned mm -hmm. about. Yeah, maybe because it was so sloped you didn't have anything to grab onto. Maybe. Anyway, the entrance is down there. No. Oh. Down here? No, uh there. Ah. Doesn't look like there's much of anything up here anyway. No. Alright, let's not run through the entire temple this time. Was, was it this one or the one after? That's one of my favorites. And you just float around, you know, as you do. If you are free soon, could we talk? Yes. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. The place temple? that we're standing at? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Mm. Sure it didn't look like any culture I've seen or heard of. Nor I. Nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but how can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? Holding my credits on Magic Pixies. Um, didn't see a visitor center or pick up a brochure, if that's what you're asking. Um, maybe there are people out there that we just never met. I suppose it is possible but i cannot imagine anyone who could build such a thing i am sorry after what you have been through i should be asking about you are you all right have you felt any side effects you mean that besides the fantastic new power i now have no i'm good 
Yes, I meant a part. I don't know what power I have. That, but I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts that temple this new ability you have acquired. Clearly, they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. I mean, this is exactly what Constellation is for. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here. So what power did I gain? Personal atmosphere. Oxygen, pure and clean, brought forth from, to breathe deep and counteract the harm harmful carbon dioxide. This is doing what I think it's doing. Let me just get down so I can run for a bit. Mm -hmm. And what was the default key for activating powers? Z. Okay. Nope. Z is what I have. Z as in said. Oh. unlimited oxygen for a short period of time and it also purges carbon dioxide instantly or almost instantly wow. so maybe that's the reason why it's such a pain to level up that skill <clears throat> because you need to run it out of uh, you need to wait for carbon dioxide to finally replenish but you could just use the skill to have it instantly replenish at that point so it'd be easier to level up with the power right not sure I hadn't really thought about it that much. I'm trying it, of course. Oh, it hasn't recharged yet. You can't use the min scale oh. mode. Anyway, I see some fauna. Some dead fauna and some living fauna. Brooding Wobbleback Geophage. They have sealant. If you can scan the stuff. One thing leaf strider. Come back, hunting leaf strider. I just want to scan you. Space. The final frontier. It really does sound like that, but. Mm -hmm. Hunting? Or just walking by? Hunting. Hurting. Those are hurting. Come then. Oh, you set things on fire. Which is impressive with how cold it is here. Victory! I accidentally shot one, that's why they're attacking me. They're wary, they're not hostile. One of them. This figure I might as well actually scan this world. Survey. Or, yes. Once again, we are triumphant. missing the element, though. Hmm? Like the last resource that's on this world. Is it helium-3? Yes. Okay. 
that something click the ship? Right, it is. That is so handy. Mm-hmm. And that's not the power that you're referring to? You know, this is one of my favorites. Okay. There, there are two powers I use way more than any of the others, and this is one of them. It is very convenient when you're over encumbered. Yes. gonna take the ship. This character does not take ships. Okay. As much as I want to. At least I haven't yet. Maybe I will. I mean it is a cliff deck, they deserve it. Yeah. And I am the mantis. Great. I haven't taken a ship on one of these recordings yet. The alarm's not going off. That's strange. Yeah. Use the storeroom. Yep. Use the storeroom. Yeah, this is one of those stupid eclectic ships that don't even have a bed on board. Mm-hmm. Elliptic don't need to sleep. They're not being paid for that. <laughs> Grenade! Walk away! Boom! You're dead. No, not the ladder. You skip again. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I believe it's ammo. Captain's Locker doesn't have anything. That's weird. Oh, cargo hold, then? Three com relays? This is the least filled ship I have ever encountered. It's yours now. Also, there's one more guy to loot. Yeah. So, in order to be able to steal a ship from somebody, you actually have to make it your home ship and then register it. If you register it while it... You don't technically have to register a ship that's your home ship, but if you register it while it's on the ground, you pay far less than if you register it in an actual system. Which is weird. I don't even know if I want it. But you have to register the ship in order to be able to sell it, is the thing. You also have to register a ship to be able to modify it. Yes. I have something for you when you have a moment. And everybody yes. needs something now. Because by re making it my home ship, everybody is aboard this ship now. Yes, and the cargo is transferred. Yes, including anything that's not in the cargo bay. Everybody wants to talk with me. Oh, that's right, Walter's with me. I was like, why is Walter here? Day? With a dead ecliptic person next to you. Uh -huh. Alright, everybody, everybody wants to talk. Have a moment. I wanted to ask uh. how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Oh. Um... 
I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> That's a very reasonable answer. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. Barrett's just smiling. We're dealing smiling. with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Ain't me, do your leader, human. Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should <laughs> act more concerned. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. You think it was built by aliens? It's a possibility I've considered, but I'm not 100% convinced. The only thing we can be certain of is that the technology we've encountered points to beings that live outside the settled systems. What, like House Ruin? Hmm, well, that's a good point. These beings wanted to harm me, though. I'd prefer to be dead. Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. Twice. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. We're explorers, All that happens. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Well, this would have been exciting for you. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? Damn. How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere. I think this is kind of why Constellation exists. Yes, exactly. Now you understand why it's imperative that we solve this puzzle. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never Spare in my wildest course. dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. And here I thought I was the subject well, of your wildest dreams. <laughs> yes, of course you are. I will say <laughs> the power you acquired, uh, this is all scientifically speaking, uh -huh. of course. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. All right. Oh, you tell. Oh, that's Walter. Once we get to Neon, I'll show you around my office there. It's exciting to see this little venture paying off, but. We really do need to be careful. The artifacts were one thing, but this... Well, we really need to keep this to ourselves. Can you imagine if word of this got out? <laughs> if you thought it was a challenge to find artifacts, imagine doing it with everyone else in the settled systems vying for them as well. We need to figure out what this all means before someone else does. I guess we should be grateful we seem to be ahead of the pack, as it were. So far, no indications that anyone else has noticed what we're up to. Let's just hope that doesn't change with this newfound ability of yours. Yes, the ability to breathe. breathe. Remember, you're representing you all of us You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. Oh, I mean... Hello! Oh, what do you think of my new powers? I'll say. You ever heard of the Mantis, the famous bounty hunter? Some people say the Mantis has superpowers. I don't think that's true, though. They're just really tough and have a cool ship. If you had a cool ship, you'd be like the Mantis, only better. I bet you'd make a pretty great superhero. I'm the Mantis. No way. Uh -huh. You really are a superhero then. <laughs> I did Bye. not realize Cora had lines for the Mantis. 
I've shown you this conversation. I don't know about you. Well, that's but right. I felt like you could did. do a lot worse in Constellation. <sighs> Where to begin? That temple? The hell was that? I've been from one end of the settle systems to the other more times than I could count. But I've never, and I mean never, encountered something like that. Like, who built it? Why? So many questions. I mean, do you think it's aliens? Maybe. If for centuries we've been looking for something definitive that says we're not alone out here. I just can't see the UC, Free Star Collective, or House Varun building that thing. The temple. Or maybe it's just some crazy gazillionaire's party temple. The ultra-rich do some seriously <laughs> crazy things. Somehow I doubt it. Party temple! Woo! That's a good word for it. And what you can do? I am not a scientist, not in the least. But that ability, power, it's just plain scientifically impossible. I mean, breathing? And there you have it. Well, forget about me. How are you? I mean, whatever happened, it could have deep physiological effects. I hope not mental. And even if everything's perfect, there... Still, I can't imagine what's going through your head. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> the other constellation members are going to lose their minds once they hear about this. Assuming they even believe us. So why is Sam saying this on the second temple and not the first? Dad, yeah. what does superfluous mean? I just read it in my book. <laughs> no! I won't have more than enough until I have a super it's good to be out duper about. fluous amount of books. Get stuffy sometimes. Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. Barrett go. Can you teleport again? No, that's Walter. There's Barrett. You got my attention, Captain. So, you gotta fill me in on what happened at the temple. What happened? What did you see? Why are you talking at a bunch of boxes? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> he did not then like that, happened? apparently. Yeah. I heard you did some stuff, and then you changed. He's 100% atheist. <laughs> Got a power. I'm awesome now. Okay, good. I like your positivity <laughs> here. Keep that up. You encountered advanced technology that altered your biology in a way that results in... In what? Superpowers? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Fair enough. Maybe we can run some tests later. Anyway, thanks for filling me in on the temple and your power. I wonder if we can find any more traces of whoever built them. It just opens up a world of questions. It's so exciting. It'd be more exciting if you weren't talking at a bunch of boxes. Mm -hmm. Just saying. What can I okay. help you with? Maybe I don't finish surveying. Maybe I switch ships back and... Mm -hmm. I did not tell you to go up the ladder. Um... Right, this one has the landing bay that's not all the way behind. So where did I leave my ship? Uh, look at the, uh... Jeep. Of course, by now it's only going to be landing sites and. No. That does not help. <laughs> no. When you're in survey mode, it's G. Why is it like this? Yeah, I don't even see it as landing site at this point. Yeah, it... 
just drive this ship back to a spaceport and swap there. I know it sucks, but... Yeah. Or you can... No, you can't build an outpost. You don't have planetary habitation and officer. Nope. I oh, was meant to hit. I always do that. Almost always, yeah. Never mind. Sorry. Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. You know, the way you handle things. You've got Your ship for me? smells so much better than Dad's. Like, a lot. I'm pretty sure the ship should not smell very good. There's a bunch of dead bodies on it. <laughs> I'm not with it, apparently. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm tired. <laughs> not even that late. That's the dumb part. Just physical exertion. Prepare for lift off. The ship is so bad. Yeah, I really don't like that ship. <laughs> Although the bionet is even worse. And just like that, we're in space. Oh, and I have people fighting. You have a lot of unallocated power. Grab down! Do or die! nice and all, but I don't have anything that locks. Oh, well, I'm in scanner mode, no wonder. Nailed their ground drive. That was touch and go. Those crimson fleet goons never stood a chance. Not everyone would have stuck their necks out for a patrol. Thanks. Any way we can repay you? Well, I mean, if you're offering, I'll just take some money. Of course. You take care out there. I did just spend almost all of my money, after all. Oh yeah, and your cargo hold is full because this ship oh, yeah, doesn't that's have right. cargo. And I know I could just... Um... Whatchamacallit, uh, take everything in cargo and put it into my inventory, but I don't feel like doing that right now. I just want to get back to my good ship. Okay, well, I would, but... That's right, we have an outpost on Nassoi. Yes, we do. But there's not much there. Do you have a landing pad with ship builder? I don't think so. Mm. I mean, we can take a look. Maybe I can build one with the crap in my ship's inventory? I doubt it, Maybe. but it's possible. Every world with living things is a treasure. Oh, and there's a oh. sandstorm. Of course there is. More air quality, yeah, I think. Yep, this is my outpost. Oh wow, this is crap. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm about to have bad things happen. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it's worth being here. No, and you obviously don't have the materials to build anything. Uh, is there anything on Nessoy that I can go to for... 
There's our house. Yeah, but that doesn't have a... No, it doesn't. Thing. No, there's no... Um... Okay. Honestly, maybe I go to Neon and mm -hmm. finish that quest, since that will also help with other things. Uh... We have a quest here anyway. Might as well do it. With the 15 minutes we have left, roughly. Mm -hmm. Why is it still beeping? Okay. Wait, I have Andreja with me for this. This is probably not the greatest companion to have with me for this mission, is it? Eh, it does have some stealth and things, uh -huh. so... Okay. Actually, I think Andreja would probably be the one I'd recommend. Hmm. Okay. Heck. Hey, you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause... Okay, no problem. Please give me back the good ship. Please. Oh my. And sell this garbage. Right, sells in a different menu. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. You have to sure. go buy it? ships and then tell them sell. Oh. Why is it different? I'm sure you can find something you like. Sell. Barely worth anything more than I picked it up for. Mm -hmm. Why is it saying buy instead of sell? Sure. Sell. Buy and sell, not instead of. Uh, okay. Making sure it's the right ship before I confirm. Okay. Alright. So, let's talk to Walter. And might as well make it our current quest. Oh, it actually is our current quest. I guess that worked. Sorry, Walter. Can't see you in all of the darkness of neon. Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Chasm bass? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. People getting high off of fish? Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Well, let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekblom offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Alright. This is this character's first trip to Neon, so let's go. Um, just to give all of you a warning, there's a lot of very bright lights in Neon, and a lot of nice. noise. There is a lot of... A lot. N noise pollution. Security? cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than what you bring into it. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Oh, hey, look, it's an activity. What? Sniffers picked up the aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run, and we open fire. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Uh, can't, we, can't we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Yep. 
Droogs. Also, for some reason, my other character, all of the guards were hostile when I came in the second time into Neon after this. No Aurora outside city limits. Got it? It's a known glitch. New around here? Hmm. Make certain you familiarize yourself with our rules and regulations regarding the transport of Aurora. After all, you don't want to end up like Nishar, do you? So you can give me a quick rundown? Certainly. And for your own good, I urge you to listen carefully. First and foremost, the interplanetary transport of Aurora is strictly forbidden. Anyone caught transporting the substance through this checkpoint will be arrested, fined, and jailed, if necessary. Legally carry it around the city, though? You are free to carry and use Aurora anywhere within the city limits, yes. Good. Then you won't have any problems from me. The other regulation you should be aware of is that Aurora is only available for purchase in the Astral Lounge. Buying it from any other business or a street dealer is illegal. You will be arrested, fined, and jailed for participating in such a transaction. Well, it's not illegal to make it. Correct. Perfect. All right, then. That's it. If you have any additional questions, let me know. Otherwise, keep your nose clean and move along. So basically, um... Voli Alpha has a unique agreement with the Freestar Collective. We allow their ships to patrol the spaceways, and Neon Security maintains the peace within Neon itself. The only exception is the Freestar Ranger outpost located in the city. But Ranger Price fully cooperates with our department. Lousy? The hell are you talking about? Outside of work in the Astral Lounge, this is one of the most secure jobs you can get. Do you have any idea how many people get turned away from Neon Security? How about half the damn platform? No, I'm one of the lucky ones. Spend some time in Ebside, and you'll see what I mean. Worst part of Neon. Basically, it's the outer perimeter of the entire platform. We're talking poverty, drug dealers, low lives, and gangs. It's not worth a visit. If you want to enjoy your visit, stick to the safer parts of town. Aurora is the number one product produced by Xeno Fresh Fisheries. The company that originally founded what is now called Neon. Clinical studies sponsored by Xenofresh have proven that using Aurora has no long-term negative health effects, and so it was approved for public use. And before you ask, yes, this was also approved by the Freestar Collective, as long as Aurora stays within the city limits. Move along. So yeah, as I was going to be saying, um, Neon is effectively Bethesda's version of a drug paradise. But, well, <clears throat> welcome to Neon. Are you working toward that next technological peak? Can my reunion industries help you get there? Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. Yep. Did it ruin the plot? Ah, Neon. Instant sensory overload. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell away from me. So yeah, um... Neon is Bethesda's version of a cyberpunk city. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a slightly inflated view of himself. That's Benjamin Bayou, by the way. Hey, He's a complete nutter asshole. Got enough flight traffic as it is. Hello. Anyway, um, yeah. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall we follow the signs? No, we're supposed to go to Stradathlin headquarters first. 
Um, so... Walter is very proud of his business. And he should be. His ships are very high quality. So, the thing about Neon is that... In, like, in-game, it sounds we like a... you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. I'm trying to talk, dang it. Um... Maybe I'll just save it for the next video. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it Bout. is what? a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Armed. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. <laughs> I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter. I know. It's my favorite hobby. <laughs> now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual <laughs> trust? I also said my love with freelance operatives. <laughs> yep. Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now, I must point out the obvious. The Astro Lounge. Hmm? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Investigate the cellar, case the Astral Lounge, got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Here, have a thousand credits and go away. And we're at about time. Just going to walk into the elevator to keep things quiet. Um, the only thing I was going to say, well, and I've decided to say on the end of this video, you might as well stop it, um, is basically Neon is Bethesda's version of a cyberpunk city rated PG for the most part. It's a really weird combination of things. My other character started as a Neon City street rat, and thus my other character did all of the Neon side quests, which I won't be doing with this character there's a lot of them um and in theme it's great but i don't like the way it was implemented it seems too safe in my mind mm. what's your take uh, 
I really don't see the appeal in it at all. Then again, I've never tried taking Aurora, so... Doesn't do a whole bunch. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. You didn't mention our light. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a ring light going on. Uh, it's probably not reflecting my glasses, actually. When I did a quick test, it wasn't doing so. Um, the ring light is kind of wrapped around the webcam, and it's also not exactly a ring, it's more of an oval. And the ring light has about a, I don't know, 45 centimeter long USB-C cable for power. So it's kind of hooked up weirdly. Anyway, the lighting conditions should be better, which should make the green screening easier. You know, when I actually remember to do the green screening. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently watching the episode where you didn't green screen. <sighs> the dumb thing is, the first time I rendered that episode, I did do the green screening. Oh. It was the audio that was messed up. Anyway, bye! <laughs> bye! <laughs>